Hey, sweetie. Hmm. Is there anything we haven't told them, our, our guests, about our trip to Chicago yet? I don't think we told them the history of the hotel. Ooh, we could do that. peeps and welcome to another episode of our haunted travels i am your host sean donnelly and i'm your co-host marianne donnelly marianne's right we never told you about the history of the congress plaza hotel and you know how much we love history yeah we gotta include that as part of our haunted travel absolutely so in this video we're going to kind of wrap everything up from our chicago trip everything we've been doing the last two weeks it's going to come to an end but it was a great time yeah. really had fun i had fun making uh, videos and everything so it makes um, me sad because that means that you're going to tell me i have to stop buying stuff from the chicago world's fair <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got some new I just items. got the new spittoon. <laughs> says Chicago stop. World's Fair right on it. Somebody there we go. Please tell me how to block eBay. <laughs> because I keep trying and she keeps getting her way through. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, let's go over the history of the hotel. Okay. All right. So, watch this video and come back afterwards. We got some more stuff to kind of tell you and show you. The original structure opened in 1893 for the Columbian Exposition, and it was an annex hotel building for the auditorium building across the street, which was connected via the underground marble passageway corridor under the street. The south tower of the complex was constructed between 1902 and 1907. It included a magnificent banquet hall, which is now called the Gold Room. This was the first ballroom in America to use air conditioning. Another ballroom called the Florentine Room was added to the North Tower in 1909. These two famous public rooms combined with the Elizabethan Room and the Pompeian Room were constantly used to host Chicago's elite social events of the day. Over the years, various owners would make updates to the hotel and continually keep up with the pace of the more modern hotels that were being built. And in 1908, the hotel had created an identity of its own, since it had housed more than 1,000 guest rooms. The name was changed to the Congress Hotel due to its location on Congress Street and being directly across from the celebrated Congress Plaza section of Grant Park. In 1916 and 1917, a large guest room enhancement project altered the lighting scheme by substituting electrical outlets and desk lamps for cumbersome hanging chandeliers. The original bathroom plumbing fixtures were replaced in a large renovation in 1923 and 24. In the early 1930s, the former Elizabethan room on the ground floor was transformed into a stylish nightclub featuring a revolving bandstand. Renamed to the Joseph Urban Room, it would become the 1935-1936 headquarters for an NBC radio show featuring the legendary Benny Goodman. Following the outbreak of World War II, the government purchased the Congress Hotel and used it as a headquarters for the U.S. Army. In 1945, a group of Chicagoans banded together to purchase the hotel and reopened it to the public. Five years later, Hick Hotel Corporation purchased the property and embarked on a multi-million dollar remodeling and modernization program. In 1950 and 52, the renovation involved the creation of a mural encircled lobby, new front desk, new corridors, new third floor public rooms, new congressional and presidential suites, and a new supper club called the Glass Hat. In the early 1960s, yet another modernization program included 
the construction of a new ballroom, and the addition of escalators. The Congress Plaza Hotel has retained its unique character by blending the old with the new. The guest rooms and suites remain larger, ceilings higher, bathrooms bigger, and window expanses wider. The hotel is not currently affiliated with any national chain. It has been owned by a group of investors led by Albert Nazer of Tel Aviv, Israel, since 1987. The hotel is frequently noted as one of the most haunted buildings in Chicago, although the hotel does not like to talk about such things. Over the years, the Congress has welcomed many presidents as well as hosted major events. Presidents who've stayed or visited the Congress include Grover Cleveland, William McKinley, Teddy Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, Calvin Coolidge, and Franklin Roosevelt. In June 1912, Theodore Roosevelt stayed at the Congress Plaza when the 1912 Republican National Convention was held in Chicago. Roosevelt, who at that time was seeking the Republican nomination for president, spoke from the balcony of his room to a crowd assembled across the street in Grant Park. In October of 1916, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson passed the hotel as part of his visit to the city. Over a hundred protesters from the National Women's Party demonstrated in favor of women's suffrage with a silent protest, holding banners such as, Wilson is against women. The demonstrators were attacked by a mob and their banners destroyed while police looked on and in some cases laughed, according to newspaper reports. During the summer of 1952, a national television audience was given a front row seat with the Republican Credentials Committee as they gathered in the Gold Room. In 1971, they packed the Great Hall when President Nixon addressed the Midwest chapters of the AARP and National Retired Teachers Association. One of the more momentous visits was by Queen Elizabeth II on July 26th of 1959 when she arrived by yacht for a whirlwind 14-hour tour of the city led by then-Mayor Richard Daley, Governor William Stratton, and other prominent persons. This relates to the Congress Plaza Hotel since what is now named Queen's Landing is directly located across from the hotel on the other side of Grant Park, which was filled with over one million visitors. Certainly, there were several guests and dignitaries who stayed at the Congress Hotel for the special occasions. More recently, on June 15, 2003, about 130 members of the United Here Local One went on strike to protest proposed 7% wage cut. On June 16, 2007, Barack Obama, then running for the presidency, briefly stood by the picket line and promised to return as president, but he did not. The strike, one of the world's longest, ended May 30th of 2013 after nearly 10 years and no concessions were given by management. All right, so we had another video that we posted out on, I think it was Facebook and maybe our Instagram, that Marianne went across the street to Grant Park there and shot the hotel. Yeah, I wanted to take some pictures of the hotel and Sean wanted to stay in. Yeah. So I said, all right, I'm going to go. Me. Did you call and me I, to go over to the window? No, you called me and you said, I see oh, you, I right, see you. Right. Yeah. So I said, go to the window and, and wave. And it was funny because she had my cell phone and I had her, you left your cell phone. Yeah, that was kind of. Yeah, I had your cell phone because you said you wanted to be able to upload it easier. You didn't yeah. have to transfer it. So I I said, okay, well, I'll leave my cell phone with you. So I got a phone call from myself. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, <laughs> watch this video. It's a real short one. Uh, and we'll be right back. We're standing outside the Congress Hotel. Sean is inside. He is waving. He is in the third 
room here, right about there. You see him? There he is. Hi, Sean. <laughs> So Sean is currently inside the Haunted Congress Hotel in Chicago. So did you like the fine Sean like the Where's Waldo? <laughs> <laughs> that was seriously what it was like. He's like, okay, I'm in the window, I'm waving, and I'm like counting up the floors. And then I'm like, oh, I see you. <laughs> where's, so it was like Sha finding Where's, where's Waldo, Shondo? but it was Where's Shondo. Where's Shondo? <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't even know what day it was. I don't know if it was the same day or It was Saturday, day. second day. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I kind of realized, well, I knew before we went that the fountain. Um, anyways, watch watch this video here about the uh, fountain that we saw. Out. This is a shot outside our window. From our window. Okay, there's a difference. But go ahead, watch this. We'll be right back. Another quick one. All righty, Youngstown fans. You know, one of uh, Boardman's own, Ed O'Neill, he was actually in a TV series called Mary with Children. If you remember the opening of that, there's that fountain from the opening of Married with Children. We can actually see that from our hotel room. In the Congress Hotel. No. Haunted Congress Hotel. It's not on right now, but that's it. That's the fountain from the opening segment of Married with Children. Okay, so if you've been following along with our channel, we've been putting stuff out about the whole weekend. Last week we covered the Jeff Mudgett interview and the, uh, you going to Englewood post office at the HH home stuff and this week we covered uh, the Congress Plaza Hotel and uh, I think we talked a little bit about Return of the Ripper what we were there for mm -hmm. I think we did mm -hmm. pretty sure we did this week we've been focusing on the Congress Plaza Hotel um, we did the ghost stories and folklore on Tuesday I'm going to put a link to that right here bing and that covers all of the paranormal claims and stories and that kind of stuff. Then we also did a little bit of investigating, covert investigating, our haunted travels investigating. <laughs> and we put that video out on Wednesday. And I'll put a link to that right here. Bing! And if you guys aren't getting these, I'll also put them in the description too. I didn't do a photo video. I made it, but I didn't post it. Ooh. But we used most of the photos in the other videos anyway, so... So it was all right. Yeah, it was okay. Um, but there was a vlog that we recorded the first night we were there, mm -hmm. Friday night. And we were going to do vlogs every night, and we only did this one. So this kind of talks a little bit about the what we were there for, basically. So I didn't want to throw it out, so... So you're going to put it in here now? Yeah, we'll put it right now. So watch okay. this real quick. Well, hey, guys. We just came up to our room to chill for a few Chill minutes. out for a little bit. We were down at the, uh, I don't know, was that the seminar? Meet and greet. Something yeah, the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. Meet and greet uh, down with uh, Mr. Jeff Mudgett dressed up as Dr. H.H. H. Holmes. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put some pictures out about that. Uh, Marianne got her picture taken with him. I did. They had some really cool things down there, too. What was some of the stuff they had? So he has um, the picture that H.H. H. Holmes got taken um, by a photographer he didn't like Yeah. the picture, and he went back to complain about it, and the photographer talked him into liking it. Thank goodness, or he'd probably be on the death list. But um, So there's that. And then hit uh, Sarah, H.H. H. Holmes' first wife, her journal is down there, which is super exciting. I can't wait to, like, go look through that that'd be super awesome and there's a, a key from 1893 to the building down to the there. murder castle yeah that's pretty cool and which, there's a real which we're supposed to visit the mall well the location the location tomorrow. the murder castle yeah. gone. we're gonna go there tomorrow that's gonna be super cool um there's a there's an actual human skull down there yeah that gets me excited you know because that's my thing i love 
I love real skeletons. So that, that that model was off the chart, though. Yeah, and there's. I put a, pictures. I'm put pictures out of, of about that model too. That uh, lady. What was her name? I forget I, her to name. To be honest, I have no idea. She's the model lady. Sorry. Today. I'm sorry. We'll get her name. Yeah. But uh, she made a, a model of the murder of the castle, murder castle and just based off of her research and stuff, which was yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was intense. Yeah, she put a lot of work into that. What'd she say she went through? How many exacto knives? Oh, 37 exacto knives. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Cut herself and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And then the uh, the actual presentation, the meet and greet. Uh, oh, man. We should get these people's names. I feel bad. Do you remember that guy's name? Oh, Vince. I'll have to get his Vince. His name is Vince, yeah, but I don't Vince, know, remember Vince. his last name. Um, went over uh, Chapel. White Chapel White murders. Chapel murders. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. So our break is until 9.15, and we're supposed to go back down again for um, some Time sort of hypnosis and seance and then, and then uh, ghost hunt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've never but, participated in either of those yeah, things I don't. Before. I don't know. I don't know how much I I'm going to participate. It's actually in, part of but. a murder mystery weekend. I'm here because Jeff Mudgett is here. And, Big Jeff Mudgett um, fan. Yeah. And I get to go to the location of the murder castle. That's really why I'm here. Um, Sean's here really because he gets to ghost hunt at the Congress Hotel. Yeah. Um, and plus I get to spend we, time with my wife. Aw. And we do get to uh, see some of the um, Jack the Ripper artifacts as well. Murder mystery thing. I'm, I don't know. Seance thing, I well, don't know. You know, but, they wrapped it around yeah, that to they, kind they of put it together. That's to, to make get it. people to come to yeah. it. That's not the that's ultimate not what reason why we're here. We we, we throw can't because we got a new mysteries. location, <laughs> two new locations yeah. right, um, that we well we're that at we the yeah. we're at the hotel now, mm -hmm. uh, which is in Panic D, and the post office is in Panic D too. Which, if I don't make it, she's going to go for sure tomorrow. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So hopefully these, uh, you know, I don't know what's up with YouTube. We're 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 behind. Sorry, you know, we're traveling, but we missed a couple of posts. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, we're making these little video clips, and we'll put them together in one big thing about our trip. And uh, Marion made one earlier, so it probably was already in the loop here of me when she was taking pictures for the trip. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I was able to see you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, hey, we'll pop back in and uh, do a little update, little little vlogging. All right. As we learn more. Yes. Do more. All right. Okay. Talk to you later. Well, one thing that we do like to put on these location videos, I mean, we covered the history, we covered the folklore, we covered our experiences. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think the place is haunted? <laughs> that's such a loaded question with this one yeah. it's been there since 1893 it was there for the world's fair right they had 27 million people that came to town so i'm sure it had a lot of foot traffic then plus since then it's sitting right out there in front of the water source that just yeah. kind of sits and freely runs back and forth i mean tons murders, of renovations murders suicides, suicides. yeah I would. I would hey, say. You can count the ways. Why wouldn't it be haunted? You know. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is like one of the most haunted hotels in Chicago. So. Yeah, we got to stay there. Yes. Yes, we did. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I'd have to get up for that. Do you have to get up? Mm -hmm. Well, we could do movie magic. We've done that. Movie before. magic. All right. Movie magic. All right. <laughs> so just a quick memento from my experiences she's in club though hey you know they forgot cool. the they forgot to bring us our breakfast multiple times so you yeah, know what you're right multiple times but <laughs> so yeah it has the congress plaza hotel symbol on it do you want to talk briefly about those rooms? We did talk about them in the last video. Um, 
the 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 missing rooms yeah. that aren't really room so 666 missing. Six 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 doesn't exist, and some of those other rooms. This place has been renovated several times, mm-hmm. several times, and it makes sense since eighteen ninety three. Right. So the missing rooms. I yeah. debunked the missing rooms just based on one renovation and two because I literally saw the door open and it was kind of split and you can see, yeah. oh, there's a there's a hallway that's in that room that's going towards where the missing room is and yeah. yeah. Anything else? I think that's it for no me. No more movie magic? No more little trinkets that you... <laughs> Actually, I have... No. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, folks. Well, that's going to wrap up this week. The Congress Plaza Congress Hotel Plaza in hotel. Chicago, Illinois. That's right. So until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you like this video and like to see more in the future, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a like below. Also, if you have any comments or, or suggestions for our future videos, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching this episode of Our Haunted Travels.